Hi, my name is Claudia Artigo, and this will be a monologue from the play Detroit, written by Lisa Damore. So the landlord had to put us in a hotel. <laughs> I mean, we have lived in a lot of places. And never, never have the neighbors given us the time of day. I mean, neighbors. Why is that word even still in the dictionary? I mean, it, it's, it's archaic. I mean, am I saying the right word? Because, because you don't need to talk to your neighbors anymore. I mean, does anyone go and, and borrow a cup of sugar anymore? <laughs> no, no, you, you drive down to the 24 hour grocery store because you don't want to bother your neighbors. And let's say, let's say that you do see your neighbor, like, getting out of their car, or calling their kid inside, or... God, kids, kids, what am I saying? Kids, kids don't play outside anymore. Oh, no, no, they may get seduced by some homicidal drug addicts, or... Anyway, um, let's say you see your neighbor, like, setting the timer on their watering system. You might just look to the ground or give a quick wave and run inside because you don't want to bother them. And then when you're safe inside, all alone in your house, you, you make this little pact with yourself saying that you're going to talk to them next time, but, but next time rolls around and things just always end up getting so fucked up and... Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I... I have a sailor's mouth. I, I swear I'm working on it, but... <laughs> but I just think that there is no real connection anymore. No real conversations. Con conversations about real things like, like, like about that sliding glass door or, or that steak or... Yes, I would love some more ice or... <laughs> and here we are <laughs> having that sort of communication and it's, it's just so beautiful.